Hobie Alter's legend started in 1950 making surfboards. He changed the surfing industry from heavy wood planks to the modern polyurethane foam surfboard. Everyone wanted to be a surfer and every surfer wanted a Hobie. In the late 60s, Hobie developed a lightweight, fast and easy to sail catamaran. Hobie Cat became the most exciting sailboat worldwide. The dream, born on the beach, has become reality for generations of dreamers and they all spell fun in the sun, surf and sand with a flying capital H. Fast forward to 2011 and the inaugural Daiwa Hobie World Kayak Fishing Championships in Port Macquarie, Australia. Each year, hundreds of competitors compete in the ABT Brim Kayak events. And from these events, the best of the best Aussie kayak brimmers have been invited to compete in this world first event. Hobie kayak anglers from around the world team up with these Australian best brim anglers to crown the first ever kayak fishing world champion. Ready for some bream in Australia? Super excited to get on my first bream ever. Everything I do, do the opposite and you'll be in good shape. Yes, big, maybe flathead. <laughs> so the uh, internationals, what's meant to be done, hopefully. We're gonna get some bram. We're gonna get to fish the top of the tide. Most of us who've come in from international uh, territories uh, are unfamiliar with uh, the bram. They certainly seem to know their stuff, so I don't think it'll take them long to adapt at all. They're gonna gonna have a lot of fun up here this week. They're gonna take us out today, uh, give us a little uh, tutorial on uh, brim fishing. Today we've got a high tide which is, is around now and it'll probably push in for maybe another hour or so. And if I were you guys, I'd be making that time to, to take that current, make your way upstream and then work your way down with the current. It runs pretty hard, the flow in this river. So, uh, you know, do your best to not fight against it. You know, we're all fishing out of Hobie Pro Anglers. Uh, I fish out of it all the time uh, in the States, uh, all over the US. And uh, so I'm very comfortable in the boat, as, as most of these guys will be. Uh, what's great about it is the kayak, it's super mover, movable, um, mobile, fast, um, but yet you can stand up in it. So you can change positions, get up where we can see structure a little bit better and make better casts, and um, just catch more fish. The inaugural Daiwa Hobie Kayak World Fishing Championships here at Port Macquarie are bringing anglers from five different countries together, chasing brim, an iconic Australian species. The rules for the contest, they're fairly easy. Each day you have to bring in three fish to the Waymaster. They have to be brim, they have to be 26 centimetres to the tip of the tail, and the weight of those fish accumulates day on day. So the world champion is gonna have up to nine fish, and the biggest nine cumulative weight wins. Good bag, 1.36. Show everyone. That is a great fish. He's on the board now for the World Championship and Grand Final event, 270 grams.
cast of the day got a bite. Got broken off by a, I don't know, itty bitty fish. Not something I'm used to. <laughs> We have bays and stuff in San Diego and everything, but just the pristine water and the amount of fish and stuff and being able to see the fish. And... G'day mates, today I'm here with Steve Morgan. We've got him here with us today. We're gonna learn a lot, so stay with us. We've got a lot going on. We're gonna have a great time catching fish, these brim and these Hobie pro anglers at the Hobie Worlds. Join us. Steve Fields got something harassing him right now. He's, he's looking around to see if anyone notices. Is that the flathead sign or the brim sign? Um, he's taking a while to get it in. That's the Australian influence. That's what we're here for. Oh, I've caught the flathead so far, but I have no luck with the brim. They are really, really, really shy. No way. There's cars, I see them, and cars have it. Woof. It's not easy, man. It's not easy. I'm so young. I the fish. <laughs> Other people catch the fish. Just <laughs> pull one out of these bloody racks. It was like about a little bit this size. He sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I know how to measure. <laughs> um, so, uh, the day's been going pretty well. I've gotten four or five of them so far on this top water. And um, they've all been kind of small except for two that are, have been legal. One was 26 and the other one about 28 centimeters. So it's a pretty good start to the day. And uh, it's really fun to see them try to eat the top water over and over and over again until I finally take it. So I fish a lot of uh, tournaments in the States and this is probably one of the most fun events I've fished so far. So The, the events in the States are super competitive. Um, nobody really shares much information. There's not much interaction. People don't ask questions because they don't want to be asked questions. It's kind of like an unspoken rule. But everybody here has been really nice, really helpful, done, done a great job of uh, giving us a basic idea of what we need to do to um, to target these brim and it's, it's just been great and, and just a bunch of fun people, you know, so. No, actually the rain's pretty good. It, yeah, some of the bite actually improves a little bit as the rain comes in. Uh, the tide made a change uh, about two hours ago, so that also helped the bite a bit. And everyone's gotten fish, uh, either bycatch, flathead, or things like that, so. We've all seen brim, uh, a few of us have bagged out, so uh, it's really good. It's been a good day on the water at the International. There's been a lot of comedy, a lot of laughter, and uh, it's quite funny watching people from another country catch a fish they've never seen before. And uh, geez, it just really makes a, an event like this really special. I went all right. Um, I've got three in the world and got a bunch of others, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I uh, got my teammate onto some, so that was really good. Good to see him get some. That's a bit of a start, we're happy with that. Hopefully get some bigger ones on the next few days. Anytime you put a, a bunch of uh, anglers together in either power boats or kayaks and you have a start line and a start signal, it always leads to a bit of comedy. Uh, it was pretty good to see people starting off one way and then heading the other. So, uh, you know, we've done it a few times, but it just it's a good spectacle. It really builds the adrenaline. Everyone gets fired up for that first cast and that first fish. I guess like most people, uh, people are very competitive by nature. It was just so easy to get people from so many countries and nations over here uh, to compete. So. Uh, 
I, I think it's good and I think that's a draw card. Three. Two green and a flatty. Good area. The current is just pushing in right now. So we are all stuck up inside. These guys are good fishing guys in their own, own the regions. You know, sure they haven't chased brim before. They dialed it in from day one. Um, yeah, well I've uh, made my way up to the back of the lake um, and uh, I'm actually fishing an area I haven't, haven't fished before. Um, but um, I checked it out on the, on the map and it, it looked pretty promising. There's, there's a river and the, the creek that empties into the lake just down here. Um, I found a fair bit of current which is breaking over some weed beds over here and I've been targeting them. Nice conditions, much better than, than we've had and um, yeah I, I reckon uh, with a little bit more wind hopefully the fish will come, come out to play. Okay today I'm using a, uh, an Atomic Hards deep diver in uh, Ghost Girl Brown, so one of my favourite lures. Put a lot of fish on this. And the technique I'm using is, is a very straightforward slow roll. So a nice long cast using three pound fluorocarbon straight through. I'm just very slowly rolling that lure. Hopefully bouncing it in, into the bottom. I'm fishing in about two and a half feet of water here. So it's very slow, slow roll. Just watching that bounce. Feeling for any, any nudges. Today I, I got a couple of bite here, but I didn't catch them yet. Uh, but some fish is rising on the top. I'm gonna try keep going and keep going. I'm gonna catch one big one size. <laughs> oh, oh God! Yeah, I got one. I've got six flathead and uh, it's just doing my head in. I've seen the other boys catch a few fish as well too, so it's time time for me to leave before I start breaking rods in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jose's got a nice fish, go see him. Oh, good, he'll be happy. See you in the same area? Yeah, he's got like a 40 to the tip, so it's probably the biggest fish we've seen here all, all so far. Yes, from the papa bitches. Probably like 41, 42 centimeters. Yeah, it's been fun actually. The water here is clear, everything's nice. View here is nice, food here is nice. Mm, nothing much. A uh, couple of bites, but never get the hookups. Could be my technique, maybe. All the fish are not biting. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of fish, but a lot of them are this size, so um, I'm just trying to upgrade and go through my bag and, and cycle it and hopefully get a, a lot of bigger ones. You doing, you doing well? Nope. You gonna win? Not gonna win. Uh, no way. Whatever it is, it's a competition still. I'll still try my best to beat them at the home ground. But, well, <laughs> easier said than done. You just pulled a horse out of the racks. It's, uh, it's 40 to the tip, and I'm pretty confident that no one else is gonna have a larger fish today. Most of the guys are fishing the back lake and kind of the average is at 27 to say 32, 33. The current was pushing against the bank, so the fish all hold up against the bank waiting for food to come to them. So I was using the deep divers and just running along the edges. So the bigger fish were right in the deeper part of the bank and they just came up and swept the lure all the time. Yeah. I thought it would be more like a competitive event, but it didn't turn out to be because by the way the guys are giving out free information, as if like, you know, it's like nothing. They were just willing to teach. That, that's very nice, that's, a, that's very different from, from uh, what, what competitive fishing would be. It's uh, just been fantastic to be here uh, on the water, especially representing my adopted uh, country, Thailand. Um, couldn't uh, wish for better company and definitely a fantastic venue to, to go fishing. Just rest them in the water and get the photos taken in there. So. 
Very happy. So one brim got in and others released. This is what happens when you come off a suicide watch. <laughs> Quite a stack today, but just could not find a really big one. So we'll see how I go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty happy, I'm stoked. You got a good bag of fish today. Yeah, I did pretty good. I did pretty good today. I was pretty happy. Uh, did some changes last minute and it ended up paying off. So. Weighs 2.0 kilos. You are the new leader of the world championships, mate. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's see if it holds up. Look at that, showing the local boys how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> um, we put together a world championship, so this is the launch of the very first Daiwa Hobie Fishing World Championships in Fishing and our plans to, are to roll out to other countries. Next year we're going to the United States. The international guys, congratulations, you've done very well. The internationals have their flag on the front, they're in the yellow kayaks. Uh, if you see them on the water and they're struggling, it's an Aussie thing to help them out. Well, joining the World Championships for the second and third day of the competition is the bigger event, the Daiwa Hobie Brim Grand Final. And we have 50 of Australia's best brim anglers from all over the country descending on Port Macquarie, fishing the Saturday and Sunday with the international guys. Now, the winner of the Daiwa Hobie Grand Final takes home a pro angler kayak. And that can be one of the international competitors, but one of the Saturday and Sunday competitors can't win the world title. So we're gonna have either one or two champions on the Sunday. Either of them are gonna really enjoy the feat and it's gonna be a great feat to beat such great anglers on such a wonderful waterway. Hopefully getting a bag, two bags, and I'll be more than happy to be on. Yeah, I think it's um it's really awesome to um, get thrown in the mix with, with some international competitors that are potentially you know the best in the, in this sort of thing in the world. Um, I feel that even though they're they're a bit out of their own water in terms of they've not really caught brim before, I think if you take a a, a champion or you know a really high class angler and plop him somewhere in, in new water and you know, show him a couple of things, it makes up for a you know a really fantastic contest, I guess. It's fantastic to be in a competition like this with all the internationals, especially Americans. You know, it's just great to pitch my skills against their skills and, and see who comes out on top. Being paired up with some quality Australian anglers um, and they'll get to learn the, the waterways. Get to meet a whole heap of different blokes from different walks of life. We're going to be at the moment out doing us Australians and um, hopefully that's not going to happen over the weekend. Hopefully we can get ourselves going again. Having 60 kayaks out here in the water together, all pro anglers, it's, it's, it's an amazing sight. I, I think it's going to be fantastic. We're going to have a ball of a time. Keep training me, yeah? yeah. This is No worries, mate. I'll see you, mate. Yeah. But we are just learning about this type of fishing. It's a completely different uh, type of fishing than, than we do with a, with a light tackle and with a, with a really aggressive fish. But it's a fun thing to do. It's an honor to be here. I think that uh, kayak fishing presents the essence of fishing. It allows you to, to enjoy fishing as it should be. It's really the ultimate competition, I think. The big comp starts tomorrow, and um, yeah, that, that's gonna be a tough one. All the guys who I certainly rate as, as the very best, of the, uh, the brim kayak anglers, they're all here. Every, everyone who's, who's really good has qualified. 
There's going to be uh, 65 anglers on the water tomorrow. Uh, that will be made up of the Australians uh, who qualified throughout the ABT series, but then there'll also be the, the international guys who've come over and uh, have certainly um, shown their mettle. They picked up brimming very, very quickly. Uh, most of them got fish or at least bags yesterday. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the internationals actually takes it out. And uh, they know what they're doing now. It's a very open competition tomorrow. It's very obvious that Steve Fields and Hobie Cat Australasia have run big events before. They've pulled this event together with 67 kayaks, all brand new Hobie Pro Anglers, and they've done it seamlessly. So anyone who's been involved in this tournament has enjoyed the hospitality, the organisation, and of course the fishing in the Port Macquarie area. Yeah, good fun today. I've got a big flat head too. Really big flat head. I wish that was a bream though. Oh. It's a big system. Pretty hard to find fish. Of course in fishing we see a great spectrum of people involved in fishing and we have guys here, we have like Jackie Smith, the, uh, the Hall of Famer here, fishing is beside guys that maybe only started kite fishing this year and they all get along like a house on fire. So there's always a saying that uh, you can never pick a millionaire when you're fishing and definitely in the Hobie kayaks you can't because they can come from any background, any part of the world in this tournament but they all love fishing just so much. Donut as you guys call it.
One of the things about ABT tournaments is that they are all catch and release. If that fish doesn't swim away at the end of the event, you don't get any points for that fish. Now, of course, it's fine to go out and catch a fish to eat, but we like to visit a waterway, catch a lot of fish, release a lot of fish afterwards, and have no negative impact on the environment. And 67 kayaks on the water here are gonna leave no environmental footprint whatsoever, and we like that. Fish are pretty, pretty well aware of what you're doing, and, and when you do hook one up, they're pretty dirty too. So you got to, got to get them out of the shucks you're actually fishing for them in. So, morning all, it's uh, the lucky laugh. I, for one, am uh, looking forward to a great day of fishing, and I'm hoping that uh, I don't have Krispy Kreme all over my face today. Today I'm going to keep it simple. Uh, probably work the edges, work the flats and uh, hopefully I'll come up with a brim. Rather than do a 10k journey like I did yesterday, I'll just stick around close and hopefully pull some off the surface. Real slow, real um, gentle retrieves and try and get in the bite. Clear conditions, no wind, it'll probably be difficult in the morning and um, once the wind picks up, we'll probably the bite will start. I think all we can do is just yeah, hope for the best and keep that lure in there and just target our spots and do what we do every day. Hey, we're getting ready to head out the final day of the uh, Hobie Worlds and the uh, ABT. So, uh, got a beautiful sunny day. The tides are starting to roll in and uh, competitors are getting on the water. So, we're going to go have some fun, hopefully catch some fish and uh, finish this thing out strong. It's going to be hot. It's going to be still and glassy for most of the morning, I believe, so fishing will be tough. It's the last day of the comp, so um, yeah, last day of a really good season, so let's see, let's see what happens. Mate, it's going to be a tough day, but how hard can it be? Three casts, three fish, it's all we want. It's not that, not rocket science, really. I think I have 600 grams from the leader, so see what happens today. I'm going to get three. Uh, SWA boys have got a good plan. Um, so we hope that executes okay and we can come in with some fish. 654 angler away. Good luck today. Hobie Pro Angler is the chosen craft for this event and everyone is in an absolutely identical craft and that levels the playing field. As pro anglers you can take up to six rods, store them horizontally, you can take all the gear you could ever want and you can stand up in it and fish. And that's a great advantage for these guys chasing bream in shallow water. They can see down at the fish and they can see what they're targeting. If you're out on the water and you see someone moving along quite swiftly in a kayak but not actually paddling a kayak, they're probably in a Hobie. They have this Mirage drive uh, which is based on uh, aquatic animals' fins, actually. They, they move side to side under the water with your leg action. So if you see someone that looks like they're driving a boat out of the Flintstones, but they're moving along at a fair clip, they're probably in a Hobie and they're probably having a good time. Um, well, I fished here yesterday and I've got three uh, good sized brim up here. So, yeah, just trying to skip it right up under the pontoons. That's where they seem to be, eh, when the sun's high. So, hopefully later the wind gets up and then I'll fish in between the pontoons on the weed with little shallow crankbaits. Uh, I'm just using a uh, white coloured gulp shrimp. Cut down, looks like a bit of bread. And it's on a hidden weight uh, jig head. 
just trying to skip them up under the pontoons because that's where the brim is sitting. Hopefully they mistake it for a bit of bread in there. Hopefully I can pull them out. I am in the lead today after yesterday's thing, but hopefully I can get another three and be right up there. It'd be nice to come in the top ten, I suppose. It's only the, only the second comp I've had in a kayak, so if these are good to fish out of. They're real stable. You can stand up in them, which makes it easier to cast, and you can spot fish better when you're standing up. So, so far, I've got two undersized fish, which is good. They're biting. I yeah, just got to catch the big ones. Oh, I think they get a lot of lures thrown at them down here as well. I think there's a lot of pressure in the system, so pretty switched on. Yeah, you sort of go out on practice day and throw different things and work out what the fish want. And um, once you sort of find a pattern, I guess you stick with it because you know it's going to work on the day, so. That's a uh, prototype Z-Man shrimp, one of the new 60 mil ones. I've just cut it down and put it on a TT hidden weight. And just running a little stinger in the back there as well for the short strikes. <laughs> There's plenty out there, but not where I was looking. <laughs> My style of fishing is edges and flats, and unfortunately it just wasn't happening today or yesterday. But, you know, we all qualified to get here, so we all deserve it. So, well done to anyone who caught fish. Uh, I don't know, I talked to a lot of the guys and I didn't hear any, any good news, but maybe they're just keeping it close to the best, you know? A couple small fish. Lots of flathead again, but no legals, I'm afraid. I've got three brim, but two, uh, two undersized and one fell out of the boat trying to get in the live well, so pretty disappointing. I suppose being involved in all a spectrum of events from high dollar powerboat events right through to the kayak events, I can truly say that the kayak events are the most fun events to be on. The camaraderie underwater is fantastic. The fact that everyone stays in the same place and eats and drinks and barbecues together it's just a great place to, uh, to go fishing and the social side of it is actually better than the fishing. So if you get a chance to be involved, come and give a kayak event a go. I'm really excited to see the future of this World Championships because it will bounce between different countries. I think it's already touted next year that it'll be in the USA catching largemouth bass. But let's think about it, the Hobie kayaks, there are thousands and millions of waterways all over the world that hold some wonderful fishing. And these guys would be chomping at the bit to get at them wherever it is in the world. The winner of the 2011 Daiwa Hobie Griffs Kayak Grand Final, it is... Daniel Brown, running. <laughs> come true to come and uh, take it back to back against the, the quality field that's that fished here this weekend um, it was a hard bite but um, you had to put in a lot of casts and get right deep into the um, areas where the fish were to um, find them and get a bite and, um, I've seen a lot of bigger fish out there but um, I couldn't get them to bite and just the average fish um, was good enough a bag each day to come through and, and take it out sensational